Are you swimming endless laps, but still not getting faster? Here's the truth. If you want to race faster, you have to train at race pace, not just cruising through long sets. In this video, we're gonna dive into what race pace training actually means and why it's one of the most effective ways to swim faster. Here's how we're breaking it down today. First, I'll explain the science behind race pace training and why it's more than just swimming fast. Then we'll cover the five key advantages of this approach, from neuromuscular gains to holding onto your stroke technique. And finally, I'll show you how to start adding race pace work into your current swim routine, even if you're short on time or just getting back into training. This isn't about swimming more, it's about swimming smarter. Let's get into it. Race pace training means practicing at the same speed, stroke rate, and effort that you plan to use in a race. Not close, not kind of fast, the real deal, the pace that you want to hold when it counts. This matters because the body adapts specifically to the demands that you place on it. This is called the said principle, specific adaptation to impose demands. If you always train at moderate speeds, your nervous system and your muscles get good at, you guessed it, swimming moderately. But if you want to race faster, you have to train your body at that exact speed so it can adapt to the exact mechanics and energy systems needed. Here is what that adaptation looks like. At race pace, your stroke timing, kick timing, and breathing pattern have to be dialed in. You don't have the luxury of gliding too long or being sloppy. When you repeat this pace with intention, your neuromuscular system learns how to adapt under these race conditions, not just when you're fresh. Race pace training also sharpens your mental game. You learn how to stay composed while swimming fast, how to breathe without panic and how to hold your rhythm even when fatigue sets in. That kind of focus is a skill. And like any skill, it needs to be trained under realistic pressure. The last is energy system adaptation. Different intensities use different energy systems. Race pace work taps into the exact blend of aerobic and anaerobic energy systems that you need to sustain your race pace. That means your muscles learn to manage lactate buildup, your heart becomes more efficient at race specific efforts, and your body learns how to recover faster between bursts of speed. Every set, every rep, and every lap needs to be intentional. And nothing builds race day readiness like race pace. Now that you understand more about the said principle, let's get into the five key advantages of race pace training. The first is neuromuscular adaptation. We touched a little bit on this in the previous section. It simply means your body adapts to exactly how you train. If you always swim at moderate speeds, that's exactly what your nervous system remembers. But when you train at race speeds, your brain and muscles learn to coordinate at that tempo. This means sharper timing, better muscle recruitment, and ultimately more speed with less effort. The next is holding on to your stroke technique when you're tired. When we get tired, we lose a little bit of natural speed and snap. When you train at race pace, it teaches you how to hold your form and technique under pressure. You learn what breaks down, when it breaks down, and how to fix it. Next up is becoming prepared and familiar with race day. Practicing at race pace takes the mystery out of race day. You know exactly what each lap should feel like. You've rehearsed the pain, the pace, and the breathing. You're ready. There will be no surprises, just execution. The next benefit is that it's an efficient use of your time. You're balancing so much, family, work, friends, training, Fun, you can't afford garbage yardage. A 30 minute race pace focused day will do more for you than an hour and a half of moderate unfocused swimming. It's about quality, not quantity. And lastly, you start to recover faster between your efforts. Race pace training improves your body's ability to clear lactate and bounce back faster after hard efforts, which is crucial in both races and your workouts. Over time, your recovery becomes more efficient, so you can train at higher intensity without burning out. That's a big win and you will see the difference come race day. So now how do you actually add race pace training into your routine? You don't need to train like a college sprinter. You can do race pace at any distance. Start small with adding just a few race pace sets per week. 
Here are some examples of different race pace sets. For your 100 freestyle, you can break it up into 425s and try 425s at 100 freestyle race pace effort. For your 200 freestyle, I'll give you two different variations. You can break it up into 50s and try 450s holding 200 freestyle race pace, or you can break it up into 100s and try two 100s at 200 freestyle race pace for something a little bit more challenging with a little less rest. For your 500 freestyle, try breaking it up into 100s and doing five 100s at 500 race pace speed. Regardless of the distance, you should have minimal rest between efforts. That could be anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Over time, you can increase the volume or stack more race pace sets into your weekly training routine. And always prioritize proper technique at top speed. Race pace training works, not just because it's intense, but because it's intentional. It sharpens your technique, builds race specific endurance and makes every single yard count. And for us, that's everything. We don't have time for the fluff. We need training that delivers results without wearing us down. So if your goal is to swim faster, stop guessing. Start swimming with a purpose. Add race pace training into your weekly plan and give your body a reason to adapt and swim faster. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who could benefit from it. If you want workouts that take out all of the guesswork, check out my six-week sprint training program. It takes you through the style of training step-by-step. -step. It's linked below. And if you're just starting out, I also have a free beginner swim guide up on my website as well. Thanks for tuning in, happy training, and I'll catch you in the next one.